So this is Dr. Steve Weiner. The next area we're examining is the nasolabial fold, the angular artery, and the deep piriform space. So I like to examine it this way, horizontally. Remember the notch to the patient's right. And what we're looking for here is basically the angular artery. And you want to see if the angular artery is laying on the bone or it's in the SMAS area, so off the bone. So this is mainly a vascular study. And we're going to look. And what we see here, the main angular artery is right here. And what I use as a criterion is I use if the artery is more than 1.5 millimeters off of the bone, then it's safe to go deep onto the bone with your injections. If it's less than 1.5, I recommend that you choose an alternative method, namely using the cannula in the subcutaneous plane is a very safe uh, way to do this as well. Why do I choose 1.5? Because the bevel on a needle is that you're going to be using is typically 1.5 millimeters in length. So even if you're on the bone and you're below the artery, you possibly can have the bevel still within the artery if you are uh, on the bone. So 1.5 is that criteria. And this is obviously a lot more than that. And I'll check a distance here. And you can easily check this distance. The bone is going to be hyperechoic, which is very white area. And so this distance is 4.14 millimeters. So it's very safe to inject deeply on this patient. So let's check out the other side. Now I'll get a little more gel. And here we go. And on this side, you see the artery. It's a little bit closer to the bone. Let's see how deep this artery is from the bone. So we check the distance here. And this distance is 2.8 millimeters. So this is also safe to inject down under the bone, but um, make sure you are on the bone when you're injecting.